In this view, we will be demonstrating the AP pelvis. The AP pelvis should be performed with the patient lying supine on the table. With a 40 inch source to image distance and no tube angulation. So I have the IR placed into the bucky tray and it is put in crosswise. We have our locks engaged, the transverse lock is on. I'm set at 40 SID and I'm centered to the IR. I have my patient supine on the table. I am choosing not to shield for this because it would uh, obscure diagnostic information. My central ray is going to be two inches superior to the pubic symphysis or two inches inferior from the ASIS. So our IR margin is an inch above the iliac crest. I'm going to open our collimation to a 17 by 14. Her heels are 8 to 10 inches apart and we're going to roll her toes together 15 to 20 degrees and invert those toes. She will suspend respiration and hold very still. A diagnostic AP pelvis radiograph must be free of motion and rotation. Demonstrated anatomy to include the entire pelvis and proximal femurs. Both greater trochanters equidistant, symmetric ilium, obturator foramina, and ischial spines. The greater trochanters in profile with proper visualization of soft tissue and bony detail. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to visit CloverLearning.com and explore our robust selection of video-based courses, certification exam prep question banks, and continuing education resources. Lastly, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on our latest videos.